This is the final view of this project that we will be building today. To keep your account safe and prevent your password from being hacked, you have to make your password hard enough that nobody can guess. So here we are. You can just choose the number of characters in your password and let this GUI generate a random password for you. You can also click on the copy to clipboard button to copy the password. So, first of all, what we have to do is just open any ID. In my case, I am using VS Code. You can use another if you wish to do so. Now, to write code, first create a new Python file. To do that, right click and select new file, or you can also do so by double click on blank area. Now click on file menu and select save. To save the file, a dialog box will appear asking your file name, write any name you like with extension.py. In my case, I am writing pass dot underscore generator dot py. Don't leave spaces between the name as it may cause problems later. And then click on save to save your file. To build this project, we will use the basic concept of Python and its libraries like tkinter, hyperclip, random, string. To do that, first of all we have to install the libraries we require, and to do that, go to Terminal, click on New Terminal, and then in Terminal, type pip install capital T small k and hit enter. This will take a while to install the Tkinter module that will help us to build GUI for our project. Tkinter is a standard GUI library and is one of the easiest ways to build a GUI application. For second module, type pip install Piperclip and hit enter. Piperclip module allows us to copy and paste the text to and from the clipboard to our computer. Now, the most important work is to import the modules we have installed to use them in our project. To import modules, simply type from to Kinter import star here star means import everything. To import another module, again simply type import Piperclip and now your both modules, Tkinter and Piperclip, can be used in this project. We will also import random and string libraries that comes pre-installed with Python. Now, to create a base for our program to run, we will create a window using Tkinter in the root by typing a simple command as shown. When the program runs, it will just run once and disappears. So to stop that, we will create a loop in base that will run this window until we quit it. And, to do so, type root dot main loop. Till now, we have created a blank window, and let's run our code to check that all is going fine. Finally, we have a small cute window that will be our base to hold all our password generators labels, and we can resize it. Time to give our project a title. To do that, simply type root dot title and in brackets, type a beautiful name of our project. In my case, I am giving it password generator and this title will be displayed on the title bar of our window. Now, geometry will give a desired size to our window and to do that, follow the code. In my case, I am making it 400 by 400, you can choose any. Now, let's have a look to it. As you can see, we have a title in title bar and we have a 400 by 400 window by default. Now, time to make a label stating our program's name. And to do that, we have to make a variable into which we will make a label which will hold our text. First, we will write the place where we want to make label therefore root, and then text, password generator, then font, in my case, that will be, Arial 15 bold, and finally, we need to pack the label to let it display on the screen. Now to check, 
that we have done all correct, run the program by clicking on the button, at top right corner, and we can see that, we are going all right, we have a label here with text, password generator. You can also make a same label, to put your name into it. By creating a new label, first argument as root. Then text as, subscribe Cameo Tech, subscribe, if you like this video, then font, same as above, and finally pack the label, to let it display on the screen, now let's run and see if we have done correct, and here we have all going good, we have a label, with our subscribe name. We want to display the subscribe Cameo Tech label, in bottom, and to do that, we go to pack, and put, side equal to bottom. And now checking it, we have all going good, we have a label in bottom. Now, time to create a spinbox, spinbox widget is used to select from a fixed number of values. Here, we will take value from, 8 to 32. To do that, we will create a variable in which, we will create a label. In label, first argument is root, then text as, password length, and font as, Arial 10 bold, and finally, we will pack the label to display it on screen, as length of password is integer type value, that stores length of password. So we will make it as, integer variable. Now, we will create the spin box, that will increase and decrease the number in box, and to do that, we will create a spin box, with first argument as, root then we will take a range from 8, to 32, and text variable as above variable, pass len, and finally pack the spin box to display it. Again, as usual we always do to check the code. So here we have a spin box, which increase numbers by clicking on the up spin, and decrease numbers when clicked on down spin, in the box. Now, we have two buttons, so to make them functional, we need to define the working of the buttons, and to do that we have to define a function, that will be used to generate password, so to that, we use def function, and name our function as, generator, then first of all we have to make an empty password variable, that will store our generated password. Now, to generate password we will run a, for loop, that will generate 4 character long password, as for x in range, means for every character in ranger from 0 to 4, we want a different character, so to do that we have random library and we will set password equal to random.choice string as uppercase which will generate any capital character same for lowercase digits and punctuations now we have created a four character password that contains capital letter a small letter a digit and a punctuation that are necessary for the strong password now time to create other random characters, of desired length, we will again take a for loop, and we will get the number from pass len, then subtract 4 from that, as we have created 4 character password above, now we will set password equals to password, that we created above, plus, random dot choice, string as uppercase, lowercase, digits and punctuations, and then, we will make a string variable. Before defining function that will hold our password as string. Now, we will set the pass str, equal to password, to put password in this variable. Now, we will create a button, that on pressing create our password. So to do that we type button, then first argument as root, then text as, generate, and finally command, that will work when this button is, generator and finally packing it will display it on the screen. And to display the generated password, we make an entry box with first argument as, root, and text variable, pass sdr, and pack it to display on the screen. Now let's run our program to test that we are all going good. And here we have a spin box, with numbers. And we have generate button that generates different random passwords each time, and we can change the length of password. And now we want a, copy to clipboard button, that copy generated password to clipboard. Now, to make a button to copy password to clipboard, we need to define a function, 
that copy the password to clipboard, so to do that, just define function, copy pass, and into this we type, piperclip.copy, and in brackets, pass str, into which we have stored password, dot git, and this will copy the password to clipboard. Now, to make a button named as, copy to clipboard, just type, button, and in brackets, first argument as, root, and text as, copy to clipboard, and command, that we defined above, copy pass, and finally pack it to display on the screen. Now, let's check that we have done all right. So here we have a new button, copy to clipboard, and now we can generate a random password, and can copy it, to clipboard, with button, and to confirm that copy to clipboard is working, we can paste it, by pressing Ctrl plus V on the keyboard, and the password is pasted on the Google, so we are alright and going all well.